Starting with a rod-shaped ingot, the gold is hammered out to a smaller diameter and then pulled through a draw plate to the desired thickness. To begin, the metal is stretched with a hammer and then the ends are filed to a taper. This is necessary to be able to pull the wire through smaller holes in the draw plate. First, the wire should be annealed or softened with heat in order to stretch the metal more easily. The wire is pulled through increasingly smaller holes, becoming thinner and longer. After pulling the wire through two or three courses, it should be annealed again, as it will become work hardened. This continues until the desired thickness is achieved. There are many simple techniques to create different visual effects with wire. Wire can be twisted by doubling over the wire, fixing one end in a vise, and turning the other end. Twisted wire is often used as a border element on jewelry pieces. Striking wire with a chisel creates a pattern on the surface of the wire, which is often used to mimic granulation. The raised bead-like surface that forms between the chisel marks reflects light much like a granulated surface does, and it's much easier to do.